In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite bunch defenses or really compression formation defenses in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the nickel over formation. We're going to be in the uh, 46 defensive playbook, but you could do this out of several different playbooks. You just need the nickel over uh, formation. And uh, like I said, this is my favorite defense for any kind of bunch set or compression set. It's really decent. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the FS1 inside package. So if you look at the bottom of the screen there, you're going to go to packages. You're going to put that on the FS1 inside. From there, you can go through and put your players wherever you want them. So for example, what I want to do is make sure that my big hitting um, safeties are down here in the box. I want my best coverage players to be up top. So I'm looking for speed uh, and stuff like that. You know, so as you can see here, just putting in good coverage players uh, across the board here. And then at the defensive line, I want my best pass rushers to be at defensive end. Uh, Micah Parsons just came out in Mutt today, and he's an absolute beast. Uh, so you want to put your best pass rushers at uh, defensive end. So the play that we're going to be utilizing uh, to slow down Bunch, you actually can do it out of a number of plays. We're going to be making some kind of interesting little adjustments uh, to this defense. So what I'm going to do is use the cover two or the Tampa two style of coverage and a pretty simple setup. But again, you can also do this out of Overstorm Brave uh, and I'm actually going to show it out of Overstorm Brave, but you can do this out of cover two as well. So we'll show both setups. Now, if you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, I do think that this defense is still very effective um, in light of the recent updates. I think there's some tweaks to this defense that will make it even more effective going forward, which we're going to be releasing an update for our nickel over defense in our Patreon page. If you're not a Patreon member yet, that's how you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So make sure you join the Patreon. Again, the link is in the description if you haven't already signed up for it. So here's the setup. What we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. We're going to use her this safety. So this is going to give the illusion that we are sending pressure at the quarterback. So what you're going to see here is we are going to outside third this um, outside cornerback. And then we're going to go to town uh, with a couple of other key adjustments for the bunch meta. What we're going to do is we're going to take the middle linebacker that's on the running back side, and we're going to go ahead and put him in a middle third. We're going to take the other middle linebacker, and we're going to man him up onto that uh, outside uh, receiver. And then we're going to outside third the safety on the bunch side, and we're going to uh, cloud flat this outside bunch cornerback. So as you can see here, this is kind of the defense that we're going to go with. Essentially, the only thing we need to worry about is if that tight end comes across the formation. Um, and what we can do if we want to really take away the running back is instead of manning up that outside bunch player, we can go ahead and just man the running back up or drop a flat zone from our linebacker. But you got to understand our user is in the area here. So if the running back goes to the flat, we're going to be able to jump the running back quick to the flat. And then you're going to see the rest of the coverage is really good. Combine that with some incredible pressure out of this formation. Now, like I said, you could do this out of cover two or Tampa two as well. Uh, so the setup out of Tampa two is a little bit different. All we're going to do, same thing, we're going to pinch our defense, bring this guy down. And then we're going to uh, outside third this outside corner. We're going to middle third this uh, middle linebacker. And then what this does is essentially we roll the coverage to the bunch side. So from here, I like to go ahead and just man up the, um, you know, whoever I'm concerned about coming across the formation. Honestly, typically I'm going to be manning up that slot receiver because he is probably the best receiver in this formation. Uh, I could also do something like this. Again, if I don't want to man anybody up, I could do this right here. And then I want to make sure that that safety is in an outside third. So as you can see, this is what the coverage looks like. You can even drop a defensive lineman opposite of the running back into a bluff blitz over the middle. And now, as you can see, you're just going to help with the running back quick throw. And then you pretty much have everything else taken care of. And you're looking to get those really good sheds that can come from four down lineman sets. Now, the beauty of this is we can also blitz out of the same look. So if we want to send pressure out of this, what we're going to do is we're going to do everything is going to be the same, except the primary difference um, is instead of uh, outside third in the safety, we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to middle third, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, we're going to middle third this safety, and then we're going to hard flat this slot corner. So you see, we're going to create kind of a cover three, if you will, uh, here. Now, when you run it this way, you've got to be really careful and cautious of the fact that that tight end can be a threat. 
you might want to run solely man coverage over there on that side. But if they're blocking their running back a lot, uh, this is a great coverage because, as you can see, the pressure is going to come in even against a blocked running back. And you're able to get, um, you know, you're able to basically force them to have to uh, go heavy pass protection. Now, another thing you can do is you can simply outside third this guy and just let it ride just like this. And as you can see, this is still a really good defense, especially if the running back is staying into block. Now, if you're going to run the blitz variation of this and the running back um, decides that he is going to stay into block, or I'm sorry, that he's going to run to the flat, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and run with the running back. So you see here we're going to run with the running back. As you can see, we're getting the great sheds out of nickel over, and we're able to kind of funnel them back into the middle of the field. This nickel over defense is really good because I think the sheds from nickel over are really, really powerful. There's also simple different coverages uh, that you can do, like this one right here I think is really, really underrated. Uh, one of the things we can also do from nickel over is when you have this package on, you can put that, use that safety as you wish. So you see something like this. If we want to put deep route KO on your linebackers in this formation, it can make this really, really, really powerful. And as you can see, the coverage really flows well to the different routes because you're cross manning them essentially from the inside and then you have those outside um, those outside coverage options. You know, another thing you can do that's kind of unique, I think, is again put that uh, we're gonna put that outside guy into the cloud and then we're going to go ahead so now we have the flat coverage over here on the right, and you can kind of adjust these zones as you want to. But as you can see, this can really help you put zones in the right place at the right time to be able to stop quick throws to the flats or to be able to stop corner routes. Guys, I want to encourage you, if you haven't gotten that nickel over defensive ebook yet, to make sure to get that because we're going to be dropping some major updates in the next couple of days to teach you exactly how to use this defense at an extremely high level to shut down a lot of what you're going to see online. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon to get access to all of our ebooks, updates, and new ebooks, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up is down in the description below.